been a mainstay on the retail scene for decades, but now for Bed Bath & Beyond, it's all over but the going out of business sales. Thanks for being with us here for the news at 6 o'clock. I'm Kimberly Gill. I'm Devin Skillian. After a long, slow slide downward, Bed Bath & Beyond filed for bankruptcy over the weekend. It's let's just answer the biggest question uh, off the bat. If you have a ream of their famed coupons and they always are by the ream, it seems yeah. uh, you won't be able to use them after tomorrow. Final store closing sales are set to begin Wednesday. So what really happened here? Why did this very popular shopping destination fail? For some answers, we turn to local for business editor Rod Maloney. Rod. Kimberly, pre-COVID, Bed Bath & Beyond was a juggernaut. People went in droves. They were building stores in droves. And then COVID hit, and, well, the rest is history. The Beverly Hills Bed Bath & Beyond is one of the handful left open in the state. Shoppers like Sally Moore jammed the place this morning. I heard they were going out of business, and it's, it's sad. It's sad. I prefer it. You know, you like to have some variety, and specialty shops are, are a good thing. So mm -hmm. I'm going to miss it. And check this out. Marty Sauer of Berkeley dusted off her pile of the famed and ubiquitous Bed Bath & Beyond coupons. How many coupons you have here? <laughs> it's like about 100. No, probably this 40, I bet. Uh-huh. So you save these. You're a big... I do. You're a big customer. I keep them in my car all the time. Case. So how does such a beloved chain hit the skids? Well, they tried everything possible to keep it alive. Local 4 bankruptcy expert Doug Bernstein of Plunkett Cooney says... They went from 300 plus stores to 1,000 plus stores, and consequently their overhead grew. COVID dealt them a big blow, and the way people shop changes the way they do business. And it is likely we'll never see the likes of this coupon usage again. A lady in line gave me a coupon for 20% off my whole purchase today. So I saved about $15 oh, wow. on top of the other uh -huh. discounts. You got to touch things before you buy them. So hopefully something good will come behind it. But right now it's the end of a bit of an era. Well, if you have gift cards, those are going to be accepted through the 8th of May. The company anticipates, though, that they're going to close this store, these stores, by the end of June. And also the Bye Bye Baby stores, which is the same chain, those will be closing as well. Back to you. Two of my favorites. So sad to hear, Rod. Uh, before you go, though, you've told us no two bankruptcies are alike. So how does this one differ <laughs> from others we've seen before? Well, we're seeing the bankruptcy space sort of morph. Uh, oftentimes what would happen is a company like this would go straight to what's called Chapter 7 liquidation, mm -hmm. hire a company, sell everything off, and walk away. The company has decided they want to manage that process. So instead of hiring somebody else, they're going to do it themselves and yet liquidate the place and close it by the end of the summer. Sad day for a lot of folks who like both those stores. Rod, we appreciate your reporting tonight.